Welcome to part two in my probably three part series of my mixed media experimentation using these same papers. Um, I have some other things I want to try like on the tape and stuff but using these these papers is what I'm thinking. This is from yesterday. A little piece of tape from uh, yesterday's experimentation. And after the third one I'll, I'll show all, all of them together. So we can compare. So yesterday, or last video, I did uh, alcohol inks. So it smelled really nice down here for a while. <laughs> Not. And had a lot of fun with those. So today I'm using acrylic paint, um, which hopefully will stick to this really shiny stuff. And I'm, I don't want to get it um, too thick. So I don't, I want it to be semi-transparent. I don't want it to be too thick on the clear stuff, on like the, the the sticker paper, I don't care, so you know, that won't matter so much. So I've got this stuff that I got at the thrift store. It says GBC on it. I don't want any contain uh, box or anything, I don't think. And it's pretty wrinkly, but I'm going to cut it into strips to make tape anyway. And then this uh, sticker paper, which is like two stickers, almost a half sheet. It's a half sheet. I got those for like 99 cents for like a bunch at the thrift store. I have two in here. I don't think I had two yesterday. That's right, I got a bunch. I don't mind having extra painty ones. And then these business cards, which are a little bit shiny. This uh, brochure paper, which is glossy. These circle stickers. And then this printable Avery, uh, it says that it's glossy. Um, well, it doesn't say which Avery product it is. But if you if you uh, ask me, I'll tell you in the... Because I do have the R160923, it says at the bottom. I don't know. It's just, it's it's printable. You can print on it. And then I've got scotch tape and masking tape. And that's just taped onto the... I had a, a bunch of laminating papers that somebody had given me. So I just broke those apart and used it for the tape. Which actually, with alcohol inks, was a lot of fun. Alright. Uh, should I do the same order? It doesn't matter. I think yesterday I started with the shiny. I don't know how the shiny glossy paper is going to take the acrylic paints and you know by the end we may have a nice decorated brace here <laughs> my thumb is kind of hurting today but I'm going to try these similar ish like bright colors like I've been using so we'll see I don't have a palette this freezer paper will be my palette so let's just go ahead and put some colors out to play with that will hopefully then I won't have to keep squeezing them why don't I use my left hand to squeeze them? Well, because I don't want to end up with like a bunch of, um, I don't have as much control. I haven't, okay, good. Magenta. Quinacridone, mag anything with a quinacridone on it is fun, right? Quinacridone magenta. Okay, come on. My new orange. Whoops. That's going to make a mess. Uh, where's my Naples yellow? Naples yellow. Aren't these fun colors? Such fun. You don't have to use fancy paints. You can use your craft paints, I think. I'm going to stick a little bit of white on here. Just to have it. Do I want yellow ochre? It's probably not the direction I'm going. I will put some red. Put it, I guess, there. Cadmium red. Some, where's the Prussian blue? I think it is actually Prussian blue and not the one that I thought was Prussian blue one time. It was really the blue green. This one's Prussian blue. And then I wanted another green, but I don't know which green. This one's emerald green. So we'll do that's the yellow from yesterday. That's an interesting green. And then there's a pale green. These are the Arteza ones. I just got like a set of them just so I would have some different colors to play with. And this one is Prussian green. I didn't even know there was a Prussian green. I do like how dark it is though. Kind of like a Prussian blue. And then here is Thalo blue. Oh my goodness, which doesn't want to... There we go. It's 2.30. My clock is going off. It's my little alarm to remind me. Have you been drinking? But I don't really need a... Have you been drinking your water a 
reminder because I'm pretty good about drinking my water. <laughs> and rose. Oh, oh, and then I've got a couple purples too For, of craft paints because oh, not as strong on my. So that one's rose. So you don't get as much blends necessarily with acrylics as you do with like the uh ah that's much thinner <laughs> tell you that much right there that was purple pansy hey i got a lot of papers to do here okay so i might use a lot of paint and then uh uh what is this one ocean breeze that's a little bit of a turquoise actually might be pretty close to that one I thought I was getting a darker turquoise in this and then minted aqua. Probably going to end up getting my paint in the... You can see the difference between a craft paint, although that minted aqua is thicker. That one's folk art. What was the other ones? That was craft smart, apple barrel, and apple barrel. So the folk art is a little bit thicker than the other ones. Which is cool. Okay, now I'm just going to take my brush and start playing. Um, with what? I don't know. Now there's like too many options. <laughs> Let's start with the lightest color. Oh, maybe move the little goober over there. Let's start with the lightest color and move my way. Moving on up. Let's see. I'm going to have a fun background here. I should get some wipe off. Oh yeah, let me do that real quick. Let me just grab, I got a notebook here and I can just get a lot of wipe off on there so that I don't, you know, waste, don't want to waste paint, right? And then some orange. I'm not putting them right next to each other because I don't have to if I don't want to. And I could do one with warm colors and one with cool colors. What do you think? Should we? Let's see. Then we've got some. We'll see if I want to add some rose, which is also mixed with the orange, because I didn't. I don't really want a wet brush, so I'm not necessarily quinacridone magenta. Probably could do some bigger bits. I don't know. Some red. And then just kind of connect them so that, well, it doesn't matter. If, if there's a little bit of clear going through. Oh, see, I knew I was going to do that. Didn't I tell you that I would end up um, putting the paper right into the the thing into the paint. Yeah, I knew it would. I knew it. What do we? Th oh, maybe. Oh, a little white, which will now be more pink than. I don't know. We'll see how. Oh, purple. I forgot about purple. Purple can go on either side, can it? A little lighter purple here. I don't like what's happening over there, but I'll fix it in a minute. And I will probably uh, add some more orange. I end up with brown over here. I'm just going to ignore this corner. Oh, no. Orange and green are going to make brown, just FYI. <laughs> Most of you knew that, I'm sure. Let's do a little of the yellow, more yellow. It's mixing. It's okay. It's not the end of the world as we know it. See, this is what's happening over here. Just a nice mess. <laughs> Nice mess of a mess. Um, I 
Oh, that's interesting. But they'll be stripped, so if I get some bits that are way different, it's okay. They, they'll, it doesn't, it's all right. It's definitely just fine. Perfectly fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right, I'm curious to see if this is even going to stay. See, fingerprints everywhere. We don't need to worry about the fingerprints either. We can just put a stamp on it. Anyway, there's one all ready to dry. And do the other clear one with some Prussian blue. I should have started with a lighter color. Whatever. I don't care. See, the Prussian blue has like just a little bit of green in it. Some of them have more green than others. Then we have that phthalo blue, which is a little brighter blue. Then we have this, this is what, the Prussian green. And do some different greens on here. And then this is the light, light green, I think. And, no, that was emerald green. This is the pale green, I think. And then we have this lime green. And it's mixing in with the other colors because of my brush. I'm not cleaning my brush, which I think is actually giving me some fun, cool things. Might help if I turn that. It does help sometimes if you turn your piece, especially if you're doing a non-objectional or abstract kind of a thing. It can help to just turn the bead around. You know. So I'm just being like super random and if I stay um, with the warm colors, I won't get mud. I'll just, I'll get some interesting things happening. If, um, if I want to switch, if I want to combine the warm colors and the cool colors, they're opposite on the color wheel and I'm probably going to have quite a bit of a uh, mud that happens. So in that case, if you don't want mud, you'll want to let one dry before you add more of the other. All right. So that's on there pretty thickly, I, which is not what I wanted, right? I want it to be able to see through a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is take one of these and just kind of press on it to pull some off. And it'll also give it some texture. Otherwise, one, it's going to take forever to dry, and two, what's the point of using clear tape if you can't see through it some, you know? I, I want to hopefully see, like, music page behind it or whatever. So I think doing this is giving, it's blending in the uh, colors together and adding a little texture and taking away some of the paint and giving me another piece to play with later. So yeah, that's something. I could have also used, here, is this one still, still a little bit wet? I was going to say I could also use, but I don't have it on me. Um, oh, oh, hold on. I just saw something that I could use and I'm th trying to think if I have a smaller piece of it. Hold up. I got it. It's right over behind me. It's just that, you know me. Why would things be perfectly clean? Nope, that's not gonna happen. All right, let me see if I can use this to get some color off of there. Maybe not get quite as much. Oh, yeah, I'm sticking my hand right back there, aren't I? All right, so now we'll have some light coming through on that, right? And this is interesting. <laughs> and it'll dry a little bit faster. So that will let some light shine through. So there's a couple ideas for that. Now this is the sticker paper. So just gonna have some different colors. I'll do one side um, with the warm colors, cool colors, and one side with the warm colors. Potentially.
got a little lime green in that green 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 You're just painting and you don't have to use a paintbrush you can use anything um we can use a baby wipe which gives that actually would have given it a nice thin uh coat on the uh clear we might try that on the tape use the baby wipe on the tape or some sponge, some uh, plastic bag, or you can come in with one color and then do some scrunch and scrunchy bags and whatnot on a upper level, upper level, upper layer. So you know, if you just have like some craft paints and a baby wipe, you can get an interesting background all the same. I mean, you know, it, just the same. I don't know what the words I want. I'm looking to see if I have a plastic bag. All right. I'm going to do one of the warm colors on this side. I often say warm when I mean cool and cool when I mean warm when I'm talking about colors because that's just my brain, how it does. Uh, we'll do a mid-range. We'll do a purple. On whatever we can get on this. Just do the background. Get the rest of that on there, mostly. I don't want to have to squeeze out more paint, don't you know? Maybe a little quinacridone in the middle. Fill that out a little. And bring it to the outside edges. Sorry, my thumb's starting to hurt. <sighs> See, and you don't even have to like have skill or whatever, because you can do this with a heart thumb even. Now, I'm gonna cut up this plastic bag a little bit so that I may come away from the microphone with it, hopefully. Ugh. I can use a little bit. At a time. Ugh. I don't know. If I had hurt my wrist, I don't know what I do because I feel like I'm using my wrist a lot for um so then just kinda you know use your smishiness. Use fine figure you know you got there's lots of techniques with acrylic paints that are fun to do and give an interesting background. Find all those techniques. Play with that, do that, get some paper, plastic, whatever, all the things. Just have fun with it. Oh, look, we got a little bit of the blue on there. You know what? We're not worried about it. We just keep going with it. Adds a little contrast. And uh, maybe get a little bit of the blue. This is a party happening over here. Got a party going on. Do, 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 do. That's fun. That is a fun background. I mean, just paper bag, plastic, plastic bag. Play with your, your media, your mediums, your paints and whatnot. All right, I'm tired. I'm not doing a second one of those. What's next? Oh, we got the business cards. You ain't got no business here. Oh, that's interesting because all the colors are mixed on the brush and then I can go ahead and go between those two, maybe come over on this side with that. Just kind of. Playing, letting them the colors mix and blend where they want to. Um, trying not to get brown though, but if we end up with a little brown, that's not a big deal. You can always paint over it. You can always paint over it. Doing our non-dominant hand, because that's fun. Still have to hold on to it, lady. 
<sighs> a little red with that. A little sunset happening. I don't know. Ooh. And if it doesn't cover the whole thing, that's okay. A little white space is not necessarily a bad thing. See? You don't even have to have... See? No skill! I'm using my left hand. I feel like I'm about to poke you in the face with the... I really wish it wouldn't hurt my hand to... So, you know, they might look good in the end. I don't know. We can always, oh, if you, if you have a background that you're like, eh, okay, well now there's a background, but I don't love it. Just go over it with stenciling and the background will like practically disappear, you know? So we're just going to leave that like that is for now. So far, my favorite one is the plastic bag. What's this one? Oh, this is just the brochure, the shiny brochure paper. I'm just gonna might even get some of this off the brush. It's a lot of interest happening in there. Don't do this to your brush. It's not nice. It, it's not nice to do this to your brush. But if you want a fireworks, baby, you're a firework. I don't know if you can hear or not. Hubby is uh, defrosting the freezer. It keeps wanting to do things like build up ice all around. We don't like that. We don't want it like that, building up the ice. It's not a good thing. I mean, my aunt gave us that freezer when she moved, and I have appreciated it for all that time. I don't even know how long it's been. 2000. Was it 2009 or 10 or 11 or something? I'll have to look and see what year she was married, maybe. A little orange. Into the red, into the thick of it. All right. I'll, I'll do something else with that later or finish it later. I can't keep pouncing like that. <laughs> but there's another technique. We do something else on the other side. What, what can we do on the other side? Oh, don't forget about our handy dandy scraper over here let's do some yellow ow don't do that with a hurt thumb you can use your scraper and any handle work so this is glossy so i wasn't exactly sure how it was gonna all come out here a little great for ukraine kind of deal happening over here just a little random summer loving. There we go. What else? Maybe a little cranacridone. Just. And there, it's covered. It's. And we got a couple different techniques on there. Let's see how they look. In the end, with what we're doing, what's next? It's a circle. Do 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 do. Um, what do I want to do? All right, let's see what paint we have left over over here. We've got some orange, and we've got wet on the brush now, so that'll be interesting. We've got some red. So, you know, I know it doesn't look great. I know I'm using my non-dominant hand, I'm aware. But, uh, some of this mixed media is not uh, cooperating with my hand right now. So, we're just going to end up with whatever we end up with. Some layers of let's see the nice thing about using the card is the layers dry pretty quickly so that then you can go to another color and potentially not have too much muddiness happening because it's already fairly dry go both ways and it's only going to be whatever's on the circle so not that big a deal Cause it's a circle, dan, dan, a little bit orange. 
there we go so that one's covered and then for the tape I kind of wanted to do are we on the tape oh no we got one more clear clear thing to go oh let's do that let's do the the card on that and see how that goes I don't use a lot of red so don't know why I had so much red out there but I did although the cadmium red doesn't look like a deep red especially when it's like that um, and put the white over there which the white is covered is lots of color on it oops could also use your brayer right now we're just the cards a mess it's full of all kinds of color um, must have just mixed some white with the all right I think we used all the colors over here oh nope here's some of course it's green why wouldn't it be Um. Uh, da, 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 this one's my favorite. Let's do some nice summer blue and green is my favorite, especially for summer. Uh, I got a turquoise up there I could use too. Let me grab that maybe. Yeah, see his heat gun barely makes any noise compared to my heat gun. <laughs> He's using the, uh, the the tool one. I know you're thinking this looks terrible. Wait till we cut it up into little bits. Let me grab the teal, which is back here, and my other Konak for doing. Can't go wrong with a little Konak for doing magenta. I don't consider it pink. Consider it a great 80s color. I mean, come on. There we go. We needed a darker turquoise. But we might have to go back to some of the others and add the turquoise. I don't know. Well, we can do that with inks too. When the stamp with the stamping. I even like some teal and um I actually don't mind what's happening with that. Teal and red I like, teal and orange, teal and all the colors. Just kind of, if I had a paint scraper, I could use that. Any kind of, just kind of getting some stuff on here. And I know you're thinking, what the heck is this lady doing? You just wait. The end product is probably going to be fan freaking okay. It might be fantastic or it might just be okay but we're not worried about it because sometimes you have an injury and you want to play and you just do what you can with what you got so you know there's that oh we want a little magenta we'll brighten this up with a we'll darken it i don't know what it is just add some magenta for fun all right and the magenta kind of changes depending on what's under it a little bit too. Magenta and red together? Yeah, we can do that. It's all good. It's all fine. All right. Well, it's pretty, very bright and colorful and non-objectionable. I know a lot of people, when they say um, abstract, if, if you're not basing it on something, you really mean non-objectionable. Sorry. All right. Oh, those are little pieces. I'm going to grab out my um, masking tape at the same time so I just can kind of like do the colors. Just have the same colors be on the tape. Woo! Hand starting to sweat. Okay, we'll do... Um, 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 I want a little yellow, I think, though. I wish I knew what happened to my sap green because you know I've lost that already. And I also want to do a couple of these to make them look like age. I should have done that with the raw umber. Um, the golden raw umber. Okay. A couple of yellow ones. Get a little yellow one here. 
why not? Yellow one here has a little bit of green to it, that's okay. Do some yellow here and here. A little green. Um, a little green. A little of the, uh, what is that one? The other color. Oh, we need some turquoise. Do we have any blue left in there? Some Prussian blue we might want too. Where's the Prussian blue? Prussian blue, Prussian blue, Prussian blue. Prussian blue, Prussian blue, Prussian blue. Okay, go back on there. These are really thick, but it's on the masking tape, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, those can dry, and whoops, finish our, oh my goodness, get up here. I did yellow already, right? So why am I sticking my foot in it? Okay. Okay, Prussian blue one. I didn't do a purple one, that's all right. I don't really do a lot of purple. You know what I do a lot of? Teals and... So I might as well make a little more of that. Alright, and that's the magenta, right? Okay, yeah it is. Okay, we'll just add... I think we've got... I think I can definitely... It's some, some light coming through there, so that's good. Um, could even get a little more light going through there with the, um, we like, that was fun, right? That was a little bit fun. Could use bubble wrap to do that too, but it gives us a fun texture. So you can't do that with the alcohol, but, um, you can with the, the paint. So that is all my papers for now. I'm going to let them dry. I'm going to stamp them and I'll come back and show you because if you look in the first video you see about the stamping it might take me a while to stamp because I gotta kind of go slow all right now I need to figure out what to do with this paint here do you want to see do you want to should we play with that for a minute just to uh um oh you want to see real quick what we have going on here we have that one and the mask and tape one and business cards mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the stickers that Pollock one is kind of one of my favorites right and that's one of the clear that's one of the clear well something happened there but that may be fun and that's one of the clear uh, the clear you know sticky stuff and then Oh, this is just the brochure paper. So, like, the brochure paper and the um, business cards would be more like tags and stuff. Just because I wanted to try the paint on those substrates just to see how they turned out. But mostly, this is about making the tape. And this is going to be some fun tape. Like, cutting this into strips and use it on, on pieces. This is my favorite. I don't know. Do you guys have a favorite so far? So far, for me, it's this, I think. But once I do the stamping and stuff, that, that could change. And I said I was going to do something with the leftover paint here. Okay, I'm going to take these out so that they don't get super... Do I want to keep using this, maybe? Dry it off. Dry, dry, dry. Let's use a little bit of this. And some of the... Of course, there's a bunch of colors getting into there, too, which is kind of cool. The little magic I get happening with just picking up random colors. A little yellow. More of the blue. 
getting it kind of thick in some spots, but that's okay. And then, where'd that thing go? I mean, I just had it. You'd think, how do you lose something so fast, lady? Well, I am me, so it does happen. Get some texture on there. That's fun. I like that. All right. So that could end up being a tag, journal card, background, whatever. I still got more paint here. Okay, so I'm just going to dip in the white and we'll see what's left on the brush here. It would be a subtle background just doing the the white and it's got all this other stuff happening in there and then so I don't have any I don't have any bubble wrap right close to me or I might use that I'll just use this again this is just the stuff that goes under your rug to keep your rug the non-slip thing for your rug that's all that is so that's fun, subtle, just white mixing with whatever's on here. Oh, look, if I take those drawers out, I have a nice little place to dry things. Huh, who knew? So, yep, yeah, that's all I'm doing is just picking up what's left here. Could even just spread it right onto the... Yeah, let's see. Oh, that was fun. I don't know if anything will come off of that or not because it's fairly thin go play with your paints just have fun all right I like that just taking them out of the book because otherwise they're gonna all stick to each other and then I'll have nothing I'll have nothing I say I keep thinking my wrist is hurt because this thing goes all the way up like that but it's not it's just my thumb can I get any more off of here Ringiness. We love it. It's just yummy, grungy, whatnot. Didn't know you could do this, did you? This is freezer paper under here, in case you're wondering why the paint didn't all just dry right into it. Because so this freezer paint. Freezer paper, freezer paint. I don't think freezer paint is a thing, <laughs> but it's freezer paper. So, you know, you get a little plasticky coating. Is there anything left on this, do we think? It's randomness, randomness. Just using every bit of paint we can get off of here. Because why not? Is there any left on there? I don't know, let's find out. I mean, we probably won't find out anything because <laughs> won't be able to tell the difference between what's on there. But this drop, this freezer paper, like it's less shiny once the paint's on there, you know. So that's going to be something fun to play with. Just got one more layer of the inks and then this will be, you know, either fun for collage paper. Because this is the shiny side. So the other side is the less shiny side, which will glue down fairly easily. I know it looks like the bottom of a crayon box, doesn't it? That's a thing. I mean, why not? Also, this could be a tree right here or a, or a, um, a, a, a dinosaur. Anyway, I'm going to go for a little bit. Oh, did you want to see the good grunginess? It's all. So when I come back, I'll show you them stamped. And then I'll cut them up so you can see what they look like as tape. And that'll be it. Okay, so here is what I have after some stamping. No, I did not stamp on that one. I just loved it too much the way it was. Um, that one was pretty dark, so I stamped on it mostly with white, and I did some paint and some different. Sometimes I used a color that was in there. Sometimes I used black. So, yeah. And I'm going to have to use my rotary color because my guillotine, I kind of messed up. So, let's see. 
This one's easy. This one, this is the business card. Those are, just take those right out, right? And then you can see what happens when you go from a full page down to little business cards or um, journal cards or, or whatnot. They just come apart like super easy. All right, so there's that and that. These I use stencils on as well as stamps. And they're, they're pretty random. I use my tidbits that I get from PM Artist Studio when I order from them. When you make an order, you usually get like a little free something in there. So that's what I used on those. They also have like ATC size stencils, which are good. I'll be having a set coming out and dry. And then this is the brochure paper, which will get cut down to like tags and journal cards. And everything else will be tape. So, although, even though the, I mean, I could do the brochure tape, paper as tape, and then, um, you know, just glue it down, but it's a little thicker, so I don't think I would want to do that. So, let me do some three inch ones, and I'm going to turn this. This is one, two, three, four, about five. So I'll do two and three quarters, I think is gonna give me about the out. That doesn't work. Two and what doesn't work is pressing with that part of my hand. I need to either use my left hand or make sure I'm using this part of my hand. That's all. And I cut these in half. And these will make some fun four and a quarter. That's probably four and a quarter, huh? Yep. And four and a quarter, just because that's in half. Alright, so that ends up with those as tags. You know, basis for tags. Add more, add more stamping, add more doodling, add more whatever you want to to those. And then, I, see this one's the Avery one. So I think the paint is going to stay fairly decent on the Avery one. The cheap ones that I got at the thrift store, the paint's already starting to come up. So I might want to Mod Podge it to uh, get it to stay down better. Don't know. But let's see. This is half inch. So we can see what some of these strips will look like. Nice little half inch strips, maybe do a three quarter inch strip here or there. You can always cut them smaller, can't cut them bigger once they're cut. So, but this one is definitely going to be a, a high variety of tape because, you know, some pieces have a lot of red or pink and some have a lot of teal and it'll just be really fun. So that gives us an idea of what these strips will look like. Real fun, and then I will I will put a piece on a background in a minute so you can see. Um, I should do that with each of these, huh? I mean, with the alcohol ink ones, I knew I was going to be able to see through, but with these, we don't. So I'm very curious as to how they're going to do a three quarter inch one. This one I did mostly like naturey. So there's, these are a little sticky still. So there's some strips for that. And, whoops, sorry, I just hit the microphone. Let's see, these are the, um, the scotch tape ones, which, oops, I think if I do it this way, you can see a little bit better that, that you can see through them. They're uh, somewhat transparent. The masking tape, obviously, opaque. It's gonna be totally opaque. But, you know, it's, it'll still be fun to use. These, oh, you want to see the circles? This is, this is the fun reveal with the circles, isn't it? They would just stay on there. Stay. I want you to stay. Ooh, ooh. Come on. Thank you. They're probably still a little damp as part of the issue here 
and some of the lines I put were paint and they're kind of connecting it. So that's what the circles look like. See, they were pretty dark. And then this is what the other bit looks like, which I think the other one I just stuck to the back of one of these just so I'd have it available. All right, and then this is the sticker one. So this one won't be see-through at all, but it will still be fun pieces of tape. See that? Won't that be fun? I think, yeah, you gotta, you gotta try that, that, uh, using the plastic bags. Put down a base color so you don't have too much white in the background, and then just, you know, try not to mix the colors. Might want more of these in the three-quarter inch range. And, uh, yeah, you'll have some fun, fun tape. Try this one over here. Ouch. Get a three quarter inch. Saves a little bit of stenciling on this one too, as well as the stamping. Um, but I have to kind of like take my time doing the stamping and everything just because my thumb. So there's those strips. And also why I'm not cutting the whole thing like this. I, I, I'm going to have to make more, more of this one. I think maybe I'll do a short doing that one because that one's really fun. All right, now what can we, we want to find? Oh, we can use like this right here to help us with some of the trans, more transparent pieces. There's the green, there's the Avery one, and then what was the, where's the, oh, right here, huh. That one I didn't cut any yet, did I? Cut a couple pieces off of this. And I'm just cutting them this way because most of my pages aren't going to be taller than that anyway. And it's easier to find a container for them to sit in. So. Uh, actually, you know, might might be better to show this would be something with words on it, right? Or something. Let's see, that's got like mappy bits. Is there any words in here? Oh, the brick might work to be able to see through. That's got no. Oh, I got numbers. Hi, I got numbers. They jingle, jangle, jingle. All right, let's try it on this. Because we can always then glue it onto something afterwards with the numbers behind it, which would still be cool. I don't need to use the whole thing though. Let's just use a piece. And Hubby is not realizing that I'm recording, I think. Alright, this has some numbers and not a lot of stamping. I could always add more. Okay, good. Phew. I'm like, uh oh. Using that thumb is not helpful. Um, can't not see through it very well. That's what this was a test for, to see how well we could see through that one. That one was the Avery. Not seeing through that one super well. But it's still fun tape, don't get me wrong. And try a piece of this one is the glossy that came from the thrift store. GB something was the brand or something. And can't well, I can almost see through it a little bit, but the one that I used wait, isn't that oh, that is the one. The this one is the one I used the scraper on. I thought I'd be able to see through that one better, but no. There's the green. I know I had already taken out of oh, here it is. Oh, well, and then this one, I think. Even though I tried to take off some of the, this is the, another clear one. Oh my goodness. I don't have, I just trimmed my fingernails. That's this morning. That has a lot to do with it. There we go. Although, this one has a little bit more transparency. This is the one. So can you see the numbers through there a little bit better? 
that is the one that I, um, what's the word I want? I think this one's going to be even more transparent. <sighs> Words are hard. That's the one that I took some paint off just by putting another paper on top of it. And then, got the other clear one was the masking tape. I mean the scotch tape which you can kind of see a little bit so if the if it was a bolder pattern in the back you'd probably definitely be able to see it so that is that for today i hope you guys had fun with that and enjoyed that and go play with your paints and you know everyone's got a grocery bag you can use plastic wrap whatever to get that smushiness probably so i hope you all have a delightful day love you